our project is the interprofessional case study event from the College of Health Professions. We have been holding this event for 15 years, or this was our 15th event, and we bring together students from across the College of Health Professions. Um, the number this past year was approximately 300 students to uh, discuss and collaborate and work on uh, what the content was a case study that they would discuss and first from the perspective of their own major and their own discipline and then they mixed into interprofessional groups so that they would have that uh, experience of engaging with uh, students from other majors. The students are given a case scenario prior to the event that they read and then when they come together they are mixed with students of their own discipline and given discussion questions to talk about how they would prioritize patient care for the for the client in the case study or the patient in the case study and uh, how they would approach it from their major, from their discipline. What would be the needs of this patient and how would they address it? Once they finish from their own perspective, they move to another table where they're mixed with students from other majors and again, they discuss and prioritize the plan of care. Um, and they get into kind of what's the most important thing. And from my perspective, it might be speech and language. And from your perspective, it might be cardiac kinds of things. And how do you come up with a plan of care that works for a patient and for their family and it meets their needs? So we're really, the focus of the event is more the interprofessional collaboration. The case itself is important. It gives kind of a grounded context for them to talk about, but the learning objectives are really coming and speaking as a professional or for the first time often, and then learning how your profession mixes with other professions and how to advocate for your patient. We hope our students walk away from the event being able to understand and really have an appreciation for what other professionals do and their perspective and how they bring that to the care of a patient or a client. But then there's another side to that. We hope that our students who attend this event also feel that they have a voice from the perspective of their own discipline and their own profession and feel that they really are a contributing member to a healthcare or a wellness team. Other faculty could take away from this experience how um, important teamwork is across our majors, across our disciplines, our departments, our colleges even, um, and how valuable it is. I know that I've learned a great deal working with Karen and the other members of this team um, of faculty who are on this committee. So just that teamwork and that collaboration, I think, is really important. And planning in detail. Yes. <laughs> when you're going to do a large event like this, we really plan to a really um, small degree right. to make sure that it runs smoothly and that the, the student objectives are met. We involve faculty um, in the process as well from the planning into the implementation of the event. and. Um, I think that that's been really important to get different perspectives and to make changes based off of, of feedback from people that are participating. Our 2016 event is coming up um, in the fall and it's going to be similar in terms of the objectives. It's still going to be very interprofessional. That's going to be the main point of the event is to bring that early education and exposure to our student attendees to interprofessional collaboration. Um, it's gonna be much more dynamic in nature. And we're evolving. Yes. Based off of feedback from our student participants and our faculty participants and just the evolution of interprofessional education, we make changes each year to the event and uh, this year promises some big changes. Yes.